Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today I've got a Tascam DRO5X. It's a linear PCM audio recorder. And uh, these little things are awesome. They're used for recording audio. and It's in stereo. They have two uh, microphones up here and a little speaker in the back. Uh, but you can plug in uh, an external microphone or, uh, you know, headphones. Uh, let's see, right here, external headphones. You can even connect these to your uh, uh, camera and use them as the camera microphone. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, this one has a problem, though, and uh, let's power it up and see what it is. Okay, so power's up just fine. All right, and you can do all the navigation right here, uh, menu and... You know change your play settings whatever all that works but when you try to record no card okay so basically they take a SD card right here okay and there's no card in there right now so they take one of these uh, micro SDs and the problem with this is the slot is damaged so the card the card can't go in there uh, and if I jam it in it'll get stuck in there so we have to open this up and uh, replace this uh, micro SD slot with a new one. So it's going to be difficult because there's so many different types of uh, micro SD slots. Uh, hopefully we'll find the right one for this uh, device and take this apart, unsolder that, and put the new one in. So let's do that. All right, uh, let's see how to take this thing apart now. Uh, these here have to slide down as we pull it up. Got to be careful. We don't want to break things. Let's see what came out. Oh, the switch. Okay, there we go. All right, um, let's see here. Yeah, this, this uh, battery thing is stuck in here, so i got to take it out slowly. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks kind of bent up. Let's take this shield off. Okay. Okay, let's take this uh, black thing off here. Oh, look at this. The metal cover came right off. Save that. Yeah, see right here, it looks like the plastic broke. Anyway, this, this needs to be replaced. That It was all bent up and the card wasn't going in there. So, And we need to find one that looks just like this and... It's not going to be easy because there's so many out there. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to find the part number. All right, after about an hour of searching, I was able to find it. Here is the part number, SCHA4B0100. And, of course, uh, Mouser, uh, not available, right? And obsolete. So, here is a picture of it, and let's see the one we got they look exactly the same to me and it's uh 
it is this it is the actual part number so this is the one we need right here uh this one right here okay so mouser is out of stock uh let's see lcsc here it is they have it also okay zero in stock so that's out so looks like we're going to aliexpress okay and here it is this guy has it uh five pieces for 572 with 356 shipping and let's see if this is it yep same one it's the one we need okay so only bad part is this guy has uh this uh, scxwszc store has uh no feedback and it doesn't look like they've sold much of anything uh so hopefully you know we'll get it because a lot of times when you get people with no feedback on here uh you never get your order and they wind up giving you your money back after you've waited a month so hopefully we'll, we'll get it uh, i'm gonna order it and uh we we will uh, pick up this video when i when i get it hey everybody it's been two and a half weeks and the connectors arrived finally here they are uh, it only took two and a half weeks to come in from china that's pretty quick that's the quickest i've ever gotten anything from aliexpress Let's see, they look the same, okay? So now we just have to uh, take this one out and uh, put the new ones in. All right, let's see how we're going to connect it. So it's got eight pins, okay? So each pin has to be soldered, and it's got two pins right here. Okay, one, two, there and there. Uh, those are probably ground pins, okay? And then there's a pad right here. There's a pad I could see right there. Uh, there's one here, one there, one here, and one there. So let's see here. Uh, it's going to be difficult to do it like this unless I use hot air. I don't really want to use hot air because I don't want to melt this plastic. So I'd rather use my soldering iron. So I'm going to try to remove this uh, metal. Uh, cover okay and then install uh, install it like that and then pop the metal cover back on top but first we have to remove this so uh, let's do that first all right so step one is uh, we have to detach this board and it looks like let's see here yeah it looks like it's there's a board to board connector in there connecting the top board to the bottom board. So I should be able to just pop it out because I already removed all the screws. Uh, let's see. I don't want to break it. There we go. Yeah, so that pops right out. No problem. So what do we have here? We got a. Uh, looks like that's the digital signal processor analog devices it has to be yeah so this is uh this looks like it's the digital board and that's why they have this metal here to shield it from the analog board most likely um okay we don't need this so we're just going to work on this and uh we have to remove this what i'm going to do is uh use hot air but i don't want anything on the bottom to melt so i'm going to put some tape here and i'm gonna mix some regular solder with this first uh just to lower the melting point of it so then it'll come off easily with hot air so uh, let's do that first all right i got it all set up for desoldering i've got cap down tape on the back to hold these uh, components in place so they don't overheat and fall off and uh, let's take this off
All right, so unfortunately, I cannot take uh, the metal cover off, okay? So I'm going to have to use hot air to get this in there and uh, try not to use uh, too hot because I don't want to melt the, the plastic. So let's try to get this in there with hot air. All right, I've tinned the pads a little bit with uh, a little bit of solder, and uh, I'm going to wind up using some solder paste to do this. All right, I've got some uh, solder paste, okay? Uh, I've got it on here. I mixed a little flux into it. Uh, it was a little dry. It's pretty old, but uh, it should work. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's put some on there. All right. Uh, the reason I'm using uh, solder paste is because it melts a little uh, at, at a lower temperature than actual solder does. So it should be quicker with this stuff. It doesn't matter if it's going on uh, all the pads right now because it'll flow into place. Okay, that should be good. All right. So let's put this in place. All right, that looks good right there, I think. All right, I got the hot air on. I got capped on tape here because I don't want other pieces to come flying off. And I got my air on like uh, 350 degrees Celsius. So I don't know, it should be pretty quick. We'll see, the stuff melts pretty quick. I think that's it. Yep, it's in there. So, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check. Oh. One minute, 37 seconds later. That was my smoke alarm. I must have uh, burned the plastic a little bit inside here. All right, so now let's make sure the uh, micro SD card goes in and out easily. Just want to make sure we didn't mess up the plastic by burning it. All right, let's see. Yeah, see that? Unfortunately, we burned the plastic and this is not going in, so... Well, that's why I bought more than one, so I'm going to have to take it out and redo it. So let me do that again. All right, so here goes attempt number two with the second uh, connector. All right, that looks good. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, it seems to be in. All right, let's uh, let's check for continuity. We don't want continuity. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. That's fine. That's good. Nothing there. That's good. 
and that's good. Okay, uh, it's very difficult to, to get this on because of the plastic. That's what makes it so hard. Okay, let's see if the SD card goes in and out. Hopefully we didn't melt the plastic this time. And it does. I think we're good. All right. Let's put it back together and try it out. Okay, guys. I got it back together. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, no card. It's because I got the card right here. Let's put it in. Hopefully it'll work. Card goes in. No music file. Yay. That means it's it sees the card. Alright, let's see if we can record something. Testing. One, two, three, four. All right, let's play it back. Testing. One, two, three, four. And it works. All right, so if you're going to attempt this, I highly recommend that you try to remove this uh, uh, metal cover. That way you'll have access to the pins and you can solder them with your soldering iron. Because with hot air, you're, you're most likely you're going to melt the plastic like I did the first time. Uh, it's very difficult to get, get the right temperature for the right amount of time. Uh, so, and if you do remove this cover, uh, there's a spring in there. Make sure that doesn't go flying. And there's also a little metal, uh, piece that looks like a staple. It's very little. If you lose that, it's game over. So if you do remove this metal cover, make sure you don't lose those two pieces. Uh, and then you can solder it back on. Okay solder it on with a soldering iron and then uh, reinstall the spring and that little metal piece and then this cover should snap back on uh, I probably should have done it that way uh, but hey I got it done the second time with hot air so it's good it's working uh, that's why we order more than one just in case all right thanks for watching